Hi, Danielle here at Pack Expo International 2018. So as you know, airline has tons of vendors and a lot of our value partners are exhibiting this week. So right now we're gonna take a tour of Schmerzel's booth and meet with Peter, who's gonna show us the latest and greatest in Schmerzel products. Hello everybody, I'm Peter Rigakos. I work directly for Schmerzel USA. First, I'm gonna start off here with our RFID interlocks, non-contact indicator lights to help you with startup and troubleshooting. They give indications when there's errors and we can look at those errors in our manual and find out what is happening. Well, how do we, where do we connect these interlocks? We connect them to somewhere. First, we have our programmable new SRBE series safety relays. We took over 200 relays and condensed them into eight. And now you can use, if you have a two-hand control operation, a light current operation, or even an interlock, depending on the interlock, one safety relay for all your applications. Okay, moving on to our next technology, we talked about interlocks. We gotta connect them to somewhere. We can use a safety relay. But when you get more complex systems, like you have multiple zones you gotta control, or you have a lot of doors and light curtains, we move on to our latest and greatest safety PLC. Two types, we have one that has 64 IO, and we have another that does 272. Each of these can communicate over Ethernet, EtherCAT, or Profinet to a master PLC of your choice. From here, you can display all of your information on an HMI. This helps with troubleshooting understanding where the errors are and how they can be fixed to get your production up and running faster. Schmerzel is also involved in safety light curtains. We have three types. Before I get into those types, I want to talk about the cross-sectional area. Four-sided piece of extruded aluminum. Typically, conventional safety light curtains are three-sided. Something smashes it or hits it or breaks it, circuit boards can crack, ours are protected. Longer light curtains, maybe six feet, have better torsion because they are four pieces. Now, getting into the three types I told you about. The first, our conversion. Very simple application. It's for presence absence, stopping a machine. Then we get into our middle class where it's this version we see right here. There's various applications. The simple part, typically you use a laptop to program these light curtains. Ours are programmed with a push button. Pick a program, set it, and forget it. Application here we're looking at now is a fixed application for fixed blanking set it with a push button. We also have a niche type application called double reset. If someone's inside the cell trying to fix something and someone walks behind them, doesn't see them, tries to reset the cell, we can see that if the cell's broken, I try to reset it, it won't reset. The niche application is the fact that we have a second reset inside the cell. The person inside the cell, when they're done working, press the reset, they break the light curtain, hit the reset outside the cell, and they're up and running within 60 seconds, keeping them more safe. Third level of light curtain is our SLC 445. This brings in the fact of muting. Muting is a complicated application. Hours of programming, building in sensors, programming it, and then dealing with the alignment. Schmerzel's implemented a controller inside the safety light curtain that allows you to wire the sensors to the actual controller programming it for how many beams you're using and you're off and running. All done in the controller, no programming time or even paying a programmer to implement that for you. Now I'm going to move on to our serial diagnostics technology. We talked about interlocks, talked about light curtains, e-stops, and we connected to either a safety relay or a safety PLC. People usually wire these in home runs to single inputs. It's kind of like Christmas lights. You ever had a problem when one bulb is out and you don't understand where to fix it? That's why people wire them in home runs, so they can understand which device is acting up and giving them problems. Now, with our serial diagnostics, you can wire those devices in series and save dramatically on your input cards, on your safety PLC, or anything you're using. The reason why is that we have three wire system, two wires is safety, the third one is our serial diagnostics. This allows for a bus type system to send diagnostics from each device back to our serial diagnostics gateway. And from here, we go to our higher level PLC. You save a lot on wiring. Everything's wired in series, and you have one input being used. From here to our higher level PLC, we can also send information back to our serial diagnostics, such as unlocking a door. And from here, we can tell you if our door has been closed, open, faulted, and which fault it was. Again, saving a lot on wiring and time. Now from there, looking into the future, a lot of people are talking about Industry 4.0. Schmerzel is involved in this and doing an R&D. This is our Industry 4.0 system. We can send all the information back wirelessly to a cloud 
and it can tell us the details of each switch. How many times were the doors unlocked? How many times were the doors faulted? How many times was the door open? So on and so forth. That's the next wave for future complex systems, making them easy for you, sending them to the cloud and being part of Industry 4.0. Thanks to Peter for showing us the latest safety products. And if you want to learn more about Schmerzel, visit our website at www.airlinehyd.com. Go to the Brands tab and click Schmerzel. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking right here. And from PacXO, I'm Danielle. See you next time.